Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back Legionnaires, welcome back troops, and welcome back any new recruits. We are back at the Legion Outpost. And today I have the Odin Wolf W3. This was sent to me by the company Odin Wolf, which I will link links to their website in the descriptions and the comments. They sent it to me for testing, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Go check out my Legion Live, and uh, you can see the unboxing over there. But it's a pretty sweet package, but we need to test it out. But as always, what is in your pocket? What are you guys carrying? What's your EDC today? Let me know in the comments below. Today, I am carrying, as a backup to this knife, my Cold Steel Bush Ranger. Let me know what you guys are carrying. Veterans, active military, welcome. Thanks for showing up, taking a look at my videos. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for your service. Enjoy this video, man. All right, let's go over some quick specs. Again, this is the Odin Wolf W3 outdoor knife. Overall length of 9.37 inch. Blade length of 4.53 inch. Blade width of 1.5 inch. The blade material is 440C stainless steel. Handle length is 4.84 inch. Handle material is TPE or thermoplastic elastomer. There is a lanyard hole. It is a full tang. And the sheath is a polypropylene. And this is one of their more advanced models for about 45 bucks. You get a complete package, box, pretty nice. All right, let's do a close up look at this baby. All right, let's check this out together real quick and then we can get to work. I'm basically going to process this little branch over here. It's nothing too big, but I do want to try chopping with this. It is a light knife, but let's take a quick look, okay? That is a harpoon uh, clip point blade or drop point blade, but it is a harpoon style. A little bit of jimping right over there. Has a little sharpening choil. They say hollow grind, but to me this almost looks like a flat grind, but we're gonna test it out. Okay, very nicely contoured handle, very easy on the hands. There's the Odin Wolf logo right there. It does have a full tang. Okay, lanyard hold, and it does have a little bit of protruding tang over here so I could uh, batten this in into the wood for later. Pretty nice little package. And I know that there's quite a few people who want to compare this to what a bushcraft knife is. Now, I don't usually do this, and I only have one concern with this knife. And uh, it's the thickness of the spine. Okay, this is the Hulsifer's OK-1. And as you could see at the very tip, it's kind of thin, all right, as compared to this. But you know what? If it's a good heat treat or whatever, you know, I'm sure it'll be just fine. But other than that, that's the only concern I have with this knife so far. Other than that, it's, it's a really nice uh, package. The fit and finish is excellent. So you know you're going to get a decent looking knife. It's sharp. It's really sharp out of the box. I did not strop or sharpen this at all. And the sheath that it comes with with the W3 model, this, this is pretty nice. Tech lock. It comes with two options for this, which is removable. I decided for the option that is just a loop, a dangler. The other one has a Velcro. But I kind of like this. Okay. Uh, the tech lock is removable. The dangler is removable. And it's got a pretty hefty sheath. You know, it has a sharpening stone in the front, drainage hole on the bottom, and it has a locking um, ferro rod right over here, which we're gonna test out for the Legion light up. Not a bad package at all. All right, troops, let's get started. Enough of this looking, let's get to work. All right, the blade is pretty light. It's a very light knife. So I'm still curious to see how it's gonna chop. And uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll do the V-notch batoning, but it's worth a try. Yeah, it's real, it's real light. It's it's very well balanced right off the bat. It's not rear heavy, it's not forward heavy, but you know, uh, looks like you can do it. Uh, 
definitely biting in so you know it's sharp it did come out pretty sharp out of the box Uh, 440C, not bad. So far, so good. Almost through this. I'm going to go all the way through with the chopping. And maybe I'll do a V-notch baton anyway, because I want to test out the spine. Since it's so thin. I don't think you'd want to chop with this knife all day long, that's for sure. Just some very simple and light tasks. But I'll tell you what, I like the handle. Pretty nice. Okay, good. See? There we go. All right. Not too thick, but not too thin either. Okay. Let's do some uh, simple V-notch batoning now. I want to see how a baton, uh, how the spine holds up to batoning. Well, that's a nice deep bite right there. Definitely a better way to go than chopping with this knife, that's for sure. So I took out a nice little chunk right there. That's another nice little chunk right there. Just keep on going around. Pretty nice. Let's go all the way through now. All right. Looking good. Spine looks good. Edge looks good so far. Pretty cool. All right, let's test out the spine some more. Let's do some more batoning. Uh, I've got a couple of different uh, pieces of wood, logs. We're gonna do, do a few, uh, few good chops. Not bad, not bad. Actually, you know what? Let me let me go from where I started. There we go. All right. That worked out well. No issues. I'm gonna save that for um, tip testing. Let's try something a little bit thicker now with a, maybe a knot. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right by the knot. Just move this out of the way for now. Let's see how it works out. Look at that! It did split it. and it's split right through the knot over there. That's cool. Let's continue. Looks like it split it all right.
Okay, now we went all the way through, which is good. All right, that was a nice thick piece, not bad. I'm gonna try one more and do something a little bit thicker. There we go, we got a nice piece right over here. Let's see what this will do like doing a vertical baton. Wow, that was good. That was real good. One more time. All right. Fantastic. Working out well, ladies and gentlemen, working out well. Uh, I'm definitely hitting the little part of the guard, but so far that TPE is, is holding up. I don't see any damage, or at least uh, nothing major. Not bad. All right, that's great. All right, troops, so I did a little bit of work off camera. I made some feather sticks, pretty manageable stuff, okay? It, uh, because of that thin spine, not that this matters, but it did chew up the baton, not a big deal. Uh, so far, so good. I wanna do some tip testing with this now. All right, I have these halves that I had batoned earlier. So we're gonna test out the tip with this and maybe make a divot, see how that holds up. All right, we're gonna do a reverse grip. It split the wood so far, but it's so thin, you're gonna to have to do it maybe a couple of times. All right, that looks good. Some nice quarters right there. Let's do another one. This one's a little bit thicker. All right, this one split it all the way. Ah, okay, not bad. You can see how thick that is. So far, so good. These are a little bit thinner, but that's okay. Definitely going all the way through. Okay, great. Just finish this one up. All right, good, let's do, let's see if we can make a divot, see how it holds up. I wanna make sure I get a good angle over here for you guys. By the way, this is still pretty sharp after all that work. Get rid of this bark over here.
All right, now that we got that bark out of the way, let's go back to work over here. It's definitely digging in. Hopefully I'm not in anybody's way and you guys could see this properly. Look at all the, the shavings over there. Well, that's looking good to me. That looks pretty straight so far. Do a little more. All right, I am gonna try and do some tip testing. Let me just put this away. And what I mean by tip testing, I wanna see how this tip holds up. Let's see. The spark out of the way. Now, according to the representatives, um, this knife is going to be available in like a couple of weeks, two to three weeks. Because I've been on their website and uh, they say that they're all out of stock. So yeah, so far so good. See, I'm not holding back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Now that looks good. I know I won't be able to focus that in, but as you can see, there's no obvious bend right there, and it looks pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm satisfied. I, I think that this is, I mean, look at the way it chewed it up over there. I think this knife did well with the tip test. And it's breaking it apart. Yeah, you know what? I think we're good. All right, let's do a quick sharpness test. I got a little piece of bark. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit. Then we're gonna do some feather sticks. I cut nice. That's nice. Okay. Let's do the tip all the way. That cut it up real well. All right, good. Can't tell me that couldn't cut up some food right there. All right, great. Let's get rid of this. Let's try some uh, feather sticks. Okay, look at that. Look how thin that is. Well, I'm impressed. Look how thin. All right, that's that's awesome. That's really great. Now let's uh, do some pull curls. I will baton this into the wood. And I, I appreciate a protruding tang. No damage over here that I could tell. That's good. Let's see what we could do. I 
very nice. This is great. This is doing a real good job. This knife would definitely be perfect with a uh, saw or an ax. All around uh, tool so far, you know? Definitely could cut food, I have no doubt. I bet you this would be a great hunting knife too. Look at that, real nice. Got curls for a Legion light up later. Pretty nice. All right, let's move on. All right, so far I'm, I'm pretty satisfied, but I, you know, I want to show some of the other people that we can make a tent stake. So let's give it a try and see how it works out. Now just trying different things, you know, just to give you guys an example of sharpness, etc. I want you guys thinking, hey, what is he doing? Trying to keep this a little bit more interesting. All right, let's see if this will dig in. Let's make this point. Oh, it's definitely cutting into the wood. That point is coming along. Just gotta make sure I'm in, in camera. That's a good point right there. Let's use some thumb work. As nice as even some jimping if you want to even go back this far. Nice, look at that. It's nicely rounded. Let's make a notch. I'm sure I don't dig too deep. Awesome. All right, not a bad carver right there. Ten stake uh, accomplished. All right, before we start testing out some of that uh, fat wood scraping and uh, curling, I just want to show you guys, which I forgot to show you before, that this thing is still sharp. And look at the coating. I don't know what kind of coating on it is on there, but it's holding up really well. So I just wanted to point that out to everybody, but look at, look how sharp that is still. Look at that. 440C. 
not bad not bad at all now they do make a model without all the fancy schmancy stuff it's like 18 or 19 bucks so it's comparable to let's say a mora or a holtzfers so um something definitely to take a look at And it's still shaving the wood. Look how nice and thin that is. That's pretty cool. All right, I made a mess. Let's see if I can clean this up real quick. All right, let's test out the spine over here. Oh wow, look at that. Very nice. Very uh, comparable to a mortar or a Holtzfers. Which, by the way, I haven't tested out a mortar yet, and I think I, I'm going to have to. I own quite a few. Look at that. Let me try the flat. That's a nice little paw right there. Let's do some individual curls. Awesome. All right. I'm pretty satisfied. Let me do the rest of this off camera. I don't even think we need the Smiths, but let me do this off camera and we're gonna do a Legion light up for Bushcraft Joe because he was really interested in this knife and I hope uh, that I showed you some good basics of this knife, uh, help you make a, a good decision. Who knows, maybe even the, uh, the manufacturer might wanna send it to you to test. All right, I'll be back. All right, we got a nice pile right there. We're gonna do do a Legion light up for Bushcraft Joe in his honor. And we're also going to honor the Legion. And uh, I almost forgot, you know, I was going to use that other ferro rod, but this one comes with a ferro rod that snaps off right here. So we're going to give this a go. All right, so let's test it out. Let's test out this spine. Well, let's see if I got to take off the coating. There we go, it's sparking up already. So the spine is definitely working. Let's see. Oh, it did come a little loose. It did come a little loose. They're gonna need to put some kind of glue in there, which I have some, but uh, maybe you want to also include a lanyard for that. Well, let's keep going. Come on, Grugs. There we go. All right, Legionnaires. We got a fire. Bushcraft Joe. You have been honored, sir. That's a damn fine knife for 440C. I don't care what anybody says this is a great knife you just throw that in your car in your pack do a hike with that i mean that's a damn fine knife right there all right troops this is awesome all right legionnaires i gotta tell you initial impressions this knife did fantastic it's still sharp the point seemed to have held up, and I think I did a pretty fair test. So not bad, not bad at all. And I can't wait to see what other offerings that these guys are gonna come out with in the future. I mean, could you imagine something like this in six or seven inch? You know, a little bit wider, who knows? 
but I thought that this knife was a pretty fine knife. It did a good job, okay? Uh, did fine feathering, curls, uh, using the tip. Uh, I was able to cut that bark properly, uh, splitting the logs, quartering, halving. I mean, just, just a fine knife. Uh, nothing more that I could say about it. It's, it just did a great job. The only small issue that I had and had nothing to do with the knife it was um, with the ferro rod. The uh, ferro rod detached from the handle. So maybe the quality control people want to take a look at that. I don't know if that's the way it's done on purpose so that uh, you could have a, a replacement maybe, or um, you know, you just may need to glue it in. It's not that big of a deal, but, but it's, uh, you know, if it needs to be in place and not move, then the quality control people need to take a look at that. Other than that, this thing did fantastic. All right, troops, there's nothing else more I could say. You saw it for yourself in the video. I kicked some ass in this thing. It's still pretty damn sharp. I mean, you saw me make these little fine shavings right over here. It did well. The knife did well. It's a great companion knife. It could be a great hiking knife, hunting knife, a good all-rounder, no doubt. All right, troops, legionnaires, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you guys sticking with me this long, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed that legion light up. Bushcraft Joe. Uh, think about it. This knife is pretty nice. It did a pretty good job, you know? All right, Troops Legionnaires, thanks so much. Don't forget, let me know what is in your pocket. What's your EDC? Write it down in the comments below. Veterans, military, thank you very much again for your service. I want to bring awareness, everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans and military uh, personnel who come out of the service and they face some challenges and unfortunately one of these challenges is suicide at the end of this video will be some slides you could pause on them in my comment section and description will also be links to websites and phone numbers also a message from Martin Miller he's a Vietnam veteran 66 to 69 he has a heartfelt message for you guys he has been there he has done that Please read that message and seek the help that you guys have earned and deserved. All right, troops, legionnaires, we are legion, okay? Don't forget that. Hold the line, guys. Take care. Legionnaires! Oh!